Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting viewer suggested question using Lambert W functions, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is solved for z as complex number. We have z to the power of one plus i over square root of two. a is equal to one minus i over square root of two to the power of z. Using Euler's formula first, say e to the power of i a, this is equal to cosine of a plus i times sine of a. Then let's plug it in pi over 4 to this a, right? Then e to the power of i times pi over 4. This is the same as cosine of pi over 4 plus i times sine pi over 4. The values of both cosine pi over 4 and sine pi over 4, that is square root 2 over 2. So we can rewrite this as square root 2 over 2 plus i times square root 2 over 2. But then again, this is also the same as 1 over square root of 2 plus i times 1 over square root of 2. So this is the same as 1 plus i over square root of 2. So that's why this power to the z, 1 plus i over square root of 2, this is the same as e to the power of i times pi over 4. Using the same thing, this 1 minus i over square root of 2, that has to be e to the power of negative i times pi over 4. So that's why our equation looks like z to the power of e to the power of i times pi over 4. That is equal to e to the power of negative i times pi over 4. That to the power of z. So using general expression, your z has to be the same as e to the power of negative i times pi over 4 plus 2ni pi. And then that divided by e to the power of i times pi over 4. Of course, your n is an integer. Since we'll be using Lambert W function that is in this form, let me call this k as i times pi over 4 times z divided this by e to the power of i times pi over 4. And using this, we can write k times e to the power of k as i times pi over 4 over e to the power of i times pi over 4, that times e to the power of just 2 and i pi over e to the power of i times pi over 4. Of course, n has to be an integer. Okay, then let me just call this entire expression. Uh, say a, right? Then k times e to the power of k has to be equal to a. So that your k has to be just the same as Lambert W of the a. So knowing how k was equal to i times pi over 4 times z, over e to the power of i times pi over So your z has to be the same as, okay, reciprocal of it. e to the power of i times pi over 4 divided this by i times pi over 4. That times entire of this, Lambert W of this entire expression, i times pi over 4 over e to the power of i times pi over 4 times e to the power of 2 and i pi over e to the power of i times pi over 4. But then again, we already know this n is an integer, but the only integer value that will make this equation a true statement is 0. So it only makes sense when n is equal to 0. So the value of the z that we are looking for has to be the same as e to the power of i times pi over 4 over i times pi over 4. That times Lambert W of only this term because e to the power of 0 is equal to just a 1. So that's why Lambert W of i times pi over 4 over e to the power of i times pi over 4. This has to be the answer for this question. And if you estimate this, minus times i. So 0 0.62452 minus 0 0.16349 times i. Yes, for this question.
Okay, so pretty interesting viewers suggested question using Lambert W function. How amazing. 